Let's go George Pickens here. We'll get this rolling and, and get you out of here. Um, I like don't love George Pickens. Okay. Uh, I've got him and Alex Pierce at the top end of the second round right now. Um, I would take Alec Pierce over George Pickens. Wow. Um, I, I look at George Pickens different than a lot of other people. Um, I, I don't think like he is a tall guy. He's a five star prospect. He's fast and everybody talks about how he wins vertically and all these different things. I didn't see that on film. You see him get bullied by smaller corners. Um, he has some inconsistencies like stacking corners uh, when he does go vertical. You also a lot see of this him is re- bully a lot of corners too, though, right? That's the crazy thing. Like George Pickens, if he can harness that and be more consistent in his routes and at the catch point, then he can hit a high ceiling. But there's also a low floor with him as well because he's a guy that I, I look at as been he hasn't taken enough steps as a tactician. And he's still living off of that five-star talent. And you see the inconsistencies both in his analytical profile, his play, um, and in his film. So it, you even – and I, I watched his film and I'm like, everybody talks about this guy like he's a vertical guy. And I don't see it. It's not reflected in the numbers. And even if you go look at Matt Harmon's reception, reception perception – his his deep routes, his nine routes, post routes, he doesn't win on them. Yeah. Not consistently enough. His grades in all of those routes that are deep are not good. Yeah. So I look at George Pickens at, in a different light than a lot of people look at George Pickens. I like George Pickens, but I think how George Pickens wins right now is underneath. I think how George Pickens wins right now is on slants and intermediate routes. And can he grow into being that true X type of receiver? Yeah, that's in his range of outcomes. I don't know if he's ever going to hit that, but it's yeah. fully there, man. Like he is one of the guys that, yeah, if you want to take the home run swing at the top of the second, go have at it. End of the first, have at it. It's just when I look at how, where he's at as a player and his overall profile, it leads me to have a few more questions than answers about him. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I would probably reverse engineer that a little bit and say that what I liked about Pickens' game was that he won short, intermediate, and there was opportunity to take the top off occasionally, mm-hmm. and he can yep. win that way, whether it's fifty-fifty or some speed, because there is some speed there. Um, so for me, I would almost, you know, kind of flip this where you know I would take him over Christian Watson because it, it's kind of a similar thing. Like you're taking a swing on, on what the upside can be. And I feel like there's at least some pedigree and, and that with, you know, maybe it's bias or whatever, but like, I liked what I saw with Pickens on the field when, when on the field, cause you know, hasn't been right. on the field. A and that's a big concern, amount. right? Injuries for um, sure. But you know, yeah, well, and inconsistencies too, because he he broke out at an early age, but then when you look at the season after he broke out, he didn't get better. Get, he he took a step back. Yeah. Like his hurt, yards per right? run went went not in the second year. He got this hurt, hurt this last year. I think he had. To, he was dealing with some injury. Like I think he was he was dinged up a little bit, but it wasn't like he only played eight to, games in twenty twenty. Yeah. To the point where he was missing substantial time. As, yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, he didn't tear an ACL and things right. like that. So, I mean, I, yeah. I, so I, I, I would, I would, I like, I like the shot on Pickens uh, better than the shot on Watson now. I Wat- feel like it's a similar shot. Watson, you know? Watson walking into yep. uh, an easier, softer spot to gain volume. Uh, but I think Pickens walking into. Well, when you look at Pittsburgh and you look at contracts, uh, Deontay Johnson's in a contract year. Mm-hmm. Uh, Claypool has one more year left on his rookie deal. You know, uh, he's got two. Well, this year and then one more year. Yeah, right? this year and one more. Right. Yep. Um, he'll be a you an unrestricted free agent twenty four. So so Claypool's there for two years. Deontay Johnson. I, th- I don't know if they'll resign him or not. Maybe the tea leaves are on the wall with that. Right. Um, it was kind of and that's up. that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, yep. but that that bodes well for Pickens though, right? Well, I think what you're going to see after his rookie season is I think whether they re-sign Deontay or not is going to tell you what they think about Pickens, Mm -hmm. Um, or at least part of that. You know, I'm not saying it's the end-all, be-all, because could they still re-sign Deontay and say, okay, well, Pickens is better than Chase Claypool? Yeah, that's definitive, too. But the the other part of that is, too, is like if you... If Pickens comes out here and he balls out or, you know, the team feels really good about him, do they feel the need to re-sign Deontay, too? 
I think you know, that, so I think that's part of the equation. You got, the Steelers are a good organization, and now the wide receivers are getting paid so much fucking money that I could. Well, but you know. also have a quarterback on a rookie deal, and if if you can get Deontay to take not Somewhat twenty-seven million, I think that'll probably come down to you know whether or not you can, you well, can get him to not get you know top receiver money. The other the other thing about that is we've already seen a little bit of correction of the wide receiver market. Like AJ Brown didn't get like he got really good money. Yeah. But he, he didn't get million a year, I think. Yeah, he did but he didn't That's get like lot. the the earth shattering like the Devontae Adams contract things like that. You know what yeah. I mean? So I think some of that's going to come back to earth a little bit. Not everybody is going to be able to demand you know these massive ass contracts and actually get them. I think those rickety knees probably played into for sure. The, that, yeah, I, what is what does Tennessee <laughs> know been. that we don't? You know, I mean, could have been. 